Chapter six. Question number one. The inclusion of which detail in the financial promotion means that the firm must include a balanced indication of both short and long-term prospects. We said uh, in the promotion, you should inform the clients of the short and long-term prospects of yield. And half of you got it right, other half got it wrong. Keep that in mind. Of course, there are many details that you should include in the promotion. Uh, but what we're talking about here, about the short-term and long-term prospect of something, we're talking about the yield. Next, if a licensed firm executes a purchase order for a retail client at 10.30 a.m. on Monday of a normal working week, what is the latest day by which the confirmation details must be sent to the client. Latest day. Latest day. We usually expect on the same day. Yes. But here the question is asking you about the latest day. So CISI says by the next day. You have until the next day. So what actually CISI says in the book, you should inform the client as soon as possible, usually on the same day, but no later than the next business day. So yes, Monday is correct, which is the expectation as soon as possible, but the question said the latest. So you have until the next business day. And a third of you got it right, two thirds got it wrong. It's fine. Next. Licensed firms should follow the appropriateness standards. Remember appropriateness is when there is no advice involved. Suitability is when there is advice. Appropriateness standards, so let me repeat, licensed firms should follow the appropriateness standards specifically for transactions where A, the product is classed as financially complex. We're not talking about complexity of products here. We're talking uh, specifically. So what, what, what specify appropriateness standards is whether or not you've been providing advice to the customer. Uh, the client has not been provided with the recommendation. With appropriateness, there is usually no advice. And there's usually excludes complex products. Or an entity? No. Experienced? No. So the answer is B. Oof. Again, most of you got it wrong. Next. Licensed firms which provide investment management services are required to send statements to retail clients at more than the usual minimum frequency if, let me see what you guys said. Oh, most of you got it right, nice. Client is age 35, no, portfolio is valid at 1 billion, no. There's one of you chose B, I don't know who, he chose B, that's wrong. So let me just remove this. And everybody else chose D, which is correct. If the portfolio is leveraged, you should send the report on a monthly basis. Although it doesn't say here, but you should send it on a monthly basis in case you get it in the exam. Next, if a retail customer is determined to purchase a financially complex product, despite being advised by a licensed firm that, is it, that it is unsuitable, what action must the firm take? I think I, think I highlighted this a lot during the training. And we said, if he insists, proceed. 
but keep evidence of his insistence. And most of you got it right. Nice. One person said, discuss with Eska. Are you really going to go back to the regulator? Every time you provide advice and the client is a system and the product, do you know how many products there are and how many clients there are in the country? Every time you have to go back to Eska and tell them, should I sell this or should I not sell? No. So you don't discuss this matter when you're trying to sell a product to the customer. Yes, you go back to Eska when you're promoting a product, you take approval from Eska before you start promoting a product. Yes. But if a product is complex and it's not suitable and the client is insisting, Go ahead, give it to him. But take evidence of his insistence. Next, if the, appoint, if the appointed representative of a financial services firm communicates a financial promotion on the firm's behalf, the firm bears no responsibility. It does. Somebody who's representing you, you as a firm are bearing responsibility. Bears only consequential loss, you bear a lot of the liability. Must not be named in the promotion. The firm must be named in the promotion with the address and all of the details of the firm. The firm must ensure that the promotion is compliant with the rules. Yeah. I mean, just by canceling all of this, you arrive that D is the right answer. Next, if, if a licensed firm has insufficient information, to assess the appropriateness of a transaction where it is required to do so, what action should it take? Let me repeat. If the company does not have enough information to understand whether this transaction is appropriate or not, what should it do? If you don't have enough information, stop. Decline. We're not saying here that the product is not appropriate and the client is insisting. No. If I know as a firm, if I know that the product is not appropriate, then I have enough information. I have made a decision that product is not appropriate. But the question is saying that I do not know if that product is appropriate or not. What should I do? Stop. Decline the transaction. And most of you got it wrong, sadly. Please watch out. So if I, I don't have enough information, that means I did not make a decision. I don't know if it's appropriate or not. Next, a suitability report prepared by a licensed firm for one of its clients must include which one of the following details? Statement of the mechanisms and tools used in assessment, obviously. Warning of the consequences of ignoring a recommendation. I am recommending you buy Apple. Should I give you a warning? If you don't buy Apple, you're an idiot? No. If you don't buy Apple, you're going to lose money? No. You never hear that. Illustration of the impact of these recommendations over five years. Why five years? Because some of you answer this. Declaration relating to the author's personal and corporate. The answer is A. Most of you got it right. Moving on. Any promotional material submitted to ESCA for approval must include a statement which identifies a director who owns at least 5%. We're talking about promotion. When you are promoting a certain product, you should inform the potential investors of any shareholder with at least 10%, not 5%. Half of you got this right. The other one got, the other half got it wrong. Please watch out. 10% in times of promotion. And last question. A corporate entity has submitted an application to the ESCA for approval to act as an introducer. The regulator must issue its decision within 15 days. 